Throughout your career as a developer, you may find yourself wanting to change jobs for a number of reasons. You may be wanting to take on new challenges, you know, it might be for growth. You might be looking to change jobs for a higher salary, or maybe you're like me and you got laid off and you're just, you know, trying to find that next position. Whatever the reason, you're now on the hunt for a new job. While you're hunting, you may see job applications asking for like GitHub profiles. And you may be wondering to yourself, do I really need one of those? I have work experience. Do I need one? Stay tuned and I will tell you the answer to this question. Hello, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. If you have been here before, if you have not, welcome in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for your support. I create things that live online and this is one of them. So make sure that you like and subscribe to continue to see content such as this one. Many experienced developers work at companies who have private repositories, which means of course that you can't access that information as someone who is not a part of that company. So as an experienced developer, how do you show people that you actually coded without showing the code? You may know that on GitHub, right on your profile, it shows all the green markings of all the code that you've completed. Well, if you're anything like a person that's been in the tech industry for a little bit, even if it's just a year, six months, what have you, if you work on a product that again has a private repository, then you may notice that you've got nothing there. Especially if you haven't been doing side projects. So now what do you do? Do you still show them your GitHub profile? How does that work? When people are asking for your GitHub profiles and, and such, it's usually not a requirement. They usually are asking like, if you have it to show, show us what it is. I typically, um, show mine, I share mine, um, cause there's usually a couple of things that I've done on my GitHub profile in the past that I am proud of and that I do wanna talk to in an interview if it comes up. So definitely, you know, share that if you have that to share, but do employers really care if you don't have one? <laughs> well, the short answer is no, they don't care but they do understand. They get that you are an experienced developer who has worked in positions in the past and you probably know what you're doing and they really aren't expecting you to show the code from your current position because they know that it could be private and proprietary and that you're not gonna be able to share it with them. And that's fine. However, they will wanna see your resume. And then within that resume is when you can talk about all the things that you have done at that company as it relates to projects and things that you've completed. Before we talk a little bit more about that, I just wanna check in. If you are watching the video so far and you're enjoying what you see, make sure to give this video a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below. I would enjoy it and I think you're gonna enjoy the content that you're gonna receive. So what else can you do to show that you have experience? Like how else can you, can you do this? Well, the reality of it is as a full-time developer, you're busy. You are busy solving the problems within a company, within the organization that you're working for because that's your full-time job. And sometimes you don't really have the energy or the time to work on other projects outside of that, which, hey, that's fine. But here's a few things that you can do to still show them that you have experience and to also you know, hopefully contribute as well to the community as a whole. So let's go through those things. Talk about the projects that you've completed in the past. So again, you have been working as a developer for however long it was, whether it's six months, whether it's a year, you have some kind of experience. Even if you've been like freelancing, you have some kind of experience. So talk about those projects that you've completed. Be excited about them. Go through the whole thing of stating the problem, what the problem was that you were trying to solve, how you went about solving it, and any issues that you came across. Uh, talk about those as well. Those things are gonna help you, right? Also, put those things on your resume, right? You don't wanna put the whole thing on your resume, but just kinda give a project that you can speak to in interviews and make sure that it's on your resume so that people will talk about it when you get into the interview. One thing that you can do is also share your advice or your experience through social media. If you're interested in doing YouTube videos, 
such as I do, you can also do that as well. But if you're just a person that just likes to pop in on social media, make sure to share the knowledge that you're learning. If you're learning something cool, if you're doing something interesting, if you've had an issue that you have had to tackle and you were just like, I don't know what I'm doing, or maybe you rock that and you wanna show that with everybody, I definitely recommend that you do that because a lot of times when you're looking for another job, recruiters, hiring managers, even team members, are going to be researching you and they're gonna to try to figure out all the information they have on you. And if you have social media and things like that that you're sharing information on, um, definitely put that on your resume and then also you know, have stuff on there that, that you know, maybe is interesting that you could speak to within interviews as well. It just shows that you're, that you're, you know, you're constantly learning, you're growing, you may not be able to share all the things, but hey, you, you're learning some stuff and that's good. The next thing is perhaps you have like a blog or something of that nature. You could use that blog, and this also goes back to my second um, thing that I just mentioned about social media or YouTube. You can talk about um, different things that you're doing with when it, you know, when it comes to blogs and things like that. So you could explain technical terms to, you know, that you've come across that maybe you wanna dive into maybe a little bit more. Or maybe you just have a, a short textbook definition for yourself that will help you remember it and you could share that with other people and hopefully it helps them remember it as well if you're doing like leak code problems and stuff like that you can share what you're doing there basically what i'm saying is anything that you can share to an audience or on your personal blog or maybe you're just making a note of it or maybe you're putting it on your resume make sure it's out for someone to see so that um, you know, especially if you're looking for employment, which I'm assuming you are since you clicked on this video, um, but make sure it's there for folks to see as they're looking and finding more about you because then they'll find those things as well and they'll start putting together pieces and they'll wanna talk to you because of it. So um, make sure that you're doing that. The last thing that I recommend is being a part of a coding community. I have an entire playlist on coding communities, so check that out if you are interested in learning more about coding communities, if you're not already involved in coding communities. I definitely recommend it. And the idea of getting involved here is as an experienced developer, you might be a part of a community and people have questions and you may have experienced this issue before, and then you can talk about your experience and help others as well. Now, this one is not so much for like everyone to go and see and check out, however, it's just something that's kind of like supplemental that you could say hey I also mentoring other developers or helping other developers and things of that nature because a lot of times as experienced developers we find ourselves reaching back and helping new developers um, which I think is a really great idea and it's really awesome to be able to do that and so it's one of the things that I enjoy as well so those are the tips so if you're if you're trying to show off your experience to potential employers here are a few ways that you can do it I really hope this was helpful if it was make sure to give this video a like and if you aren't subscribed already I don't know why let's just let's just make this official and hit the subscribe button all right thank you so much make sure to Take care of yourself and be kind to others. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.